Dude, sorry you guys. I'm like catching up on the chat here. There's like a lot of things. The whole don't run before you can walk mentality pervades everywhere, even in art. That is true. I'll talk to you about um I compare art to sports and working out. We'll talk about that in a second. Daniel says I agree with a lot of your sport analogy to me drawing is like lifting heavy weights i can do it but just barely all right you guys we're going to talk about this um i call you know you we all have that that thing that you want to do right if, if you want to illustrate things if you want to design characters you have the final result you know your movie your painting your final piece that you show people that's that's what we all want to do right and I compare that to a basketball game. So your your finished illustration, that is what I call the game time piece, right? And as an artist, as a basketball player, you need to win some games. You know what I mean? Like that's that's how you make a living. Otherwise, like you can't really call yourself a basketball player if you're not winning any basketball games. You know what I mean? Now Think about what basketball players do on their off time when they're not playing game times. Like they're in the gym working out, they're lifting weight, they're doing drills. That's what our studies are, right? Like you're practicing anatomy and perspective and all these things. Those are our workout. Those are our practice that will help us when we're playing the game time, when we're doing the finished piece. And it really like we just basketball players they just want to play basketball that's what's fun to them right like and for us could be the same thing you know like you want to create that final cool finished illustration or painting or drawing or whatever and you can certainly get better at it by just doing that just like how you can just get better by at, ba at playing basketball by just playing games you know what i mean but it's not the most effective way to get better at it because doing when you're doing a finished illustration finished drawing finished painting or when you're playing an actual basketball game there's a lot happening at the same time right and it's very hard for you to practice certain elements when you're doing it real time that's why in your practice time you can separate things and isolate certain areas and practice those things and you know it's the same in art as it is in sports you know, like basketball players during their practice, they're not just playing games. They're shooting free throws. They're doing drills. They're just repetitive things that aren't as interesting as playing the actual game itself. But you need to do that if you want to get good at it. And now a good analogy to this, like you can also compare it to weightlifting, right? Let's say your goal is to fucking lift 500 pounds. Do you go to the gym every day and try to lift 500 pounds? Like, you're not going to get any better. You're not making any improvements if every time that you draw, you're trying to do a finished drawing. Just like lifting weights. If every time you go to the gym, you're trying to lift that 500 pounds, you're not going to make any improvement. Like, you'll get a little bit stronger, but that weight is not going to come up. But if you start with 5 pounds, you know, and lift that, and then next time you can lift 10 pounds and then 15 pounds, 20, 30, 40, whatever. It just keep going up. Like you got to start small and add on to that a little bit at a time. And that's when you're going to see improvement. Like instead of jumping in and trying to do the hardest thing right away, like you're not going to get any better at anything. And drawing's going to suck. You know what I mean? So like, like Anthony Jones said is like this. He was talking about this guy that was doing drawing like this amazing character. And it just you know things were kind of out of place everywhere and he told him he was like do you even know how to paint like a, i think it was like a pumpkin something orange because it was like this orange character that this guy was painting i could be wrong but the point is he told him like you can't even paint a regular pumpkin how are you supposed to paint this amazing character with a bunch of like complicated things on it you know like don't skip steps, you guys. Final piece is the actual boxing map in order to have to do in practice for my... Yeah, Daniel. Fucking Daniel gets the fucking idea, man. I have fear of posting my work. It's stupid, but trying to get better at it. 
flex your muscles. Well, okay, here's the thing. Like, some people also ask me, like, do you do more studies or you do more paintings, finished pieces? It's like a basketball player. Like, you can shoot free throws for a while, but you gotta apply that in a game somehow. You know, like you gotta. Like for me, like I do these studies, right? But what are the point of all these studies if I'm not doing any finished pieces? Like I can't really call myself an illustrator if I don't illustrate any finished piece. So once in a while, you gotta you gotta flex your muscle, like you said. You gotta put your skills to test, right? Shit, dude, it's been another hour already. I gotta start this shit again. I post my work, but I don't really get many likes. Maybe I'm just ugly. Maybe, dude. Sorry. <laughs> Holy shit. All right, hey, Instagram's cutting off. I'm going to restart it. Come back, you guys. I'll finish this page. Maybe I'll do one more if I don't talk too much. See you guys in a bit.